the Grand Tour, a show that cares. Excuse me, James. I just want to see just... Oh, you've got, like, two-tone leather. Mm. But why have you got an automatic? I bust my arm. That's why it took a long time to get out. You've Which really broken your arm. Which arm yes. have you broken? <laughs> <laughs> it has made me murderously bad-tempered and intolerant of your fatuousness. Have you Both seriously you. broken your arm? Well, it's fractured quite badly. I mean, don't touch it. How did you break I it? I fell over. Anyway, that's why you got an automatic? Yes. Um, is that roof electric? No. Hang on, no, there's a little button on the front. <sighs> oh, right, brilliant. So it is manual? Yes. Anyway, we'll just get off. Come on, let's drive on. Can you put the roof back up for me? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. It's all right, I don't eat ice cream. I think it's something to do with being straight. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Johnson has been run over by some people who think they are playing football. But they're not. <laughs> well, it's not football, though, is it? Because no. they don't use their feet. That's not football. That's just people dressing up. <laughs> we play football. We play right? football. Yeah, with our feet. <laughs> that is football. <laughs> what? It's not soccer. It's football. It's that we six play. Who says that? Seven five billion people in the world call it football. <laughs> anyway, look. You can moan and shout all you like. The fact is, we're British, and we edit this show, and you'll just get cut out. <laughs> this is a rugby ball. They were born with. This is not a football. They call it football. USA! 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 So, uh, Brian Johnson has been run over by um, some supremely brave and talented footballers. Yeah. Uh, does that mean he's not coming on, then? Mm. Well, James, he's been hammered to the thickness of an envelope and his spine is now a jigsaw, so yeah. that is a no. All right. <laughs> you simply wouldn't believe the noise that that car makes. It's just... it's just so relentless. Yeah, I can't imagine having to put up with that, an endless bellowing drone. Yeah, it's a dreary drone. Yeah, just going on and on. <laughs> And on and on. Yes. Yeah, anyway, you think you had it bad. I was travelling with a handicap. <laughs> James, it's not 1950. The correct term these days is a disabled. He's not disabled, he's just clumsy. It... What? Actually, on that whole point, able-bodied people like to think that everything that could be done to make life easier and convenient for disabled people has been done. But when you find yourself in that position, you realise it really, really hasn't. Mm. The Grand Tour, a show that cares. <laughs> this week, this week it's disabled people, and next week we're doing people who are BLT. Um, that's, that's a sandwich. <laughs> oh, no, what is it I mean? You mean LGBT? Yes, that. <laughs> That's what I meant, not BLT. No, but it's uh, uh, lesbian, anyway. gay, bacon and tomato. That's the one. <laughs> That's my favourite sandwich and we're doing... Look, I'm not saying this is perfect, cos it isn't. There's a vertical choppiness to the ride, which is annoying. If you put your phone in the phone holder in front of the gear lever and then accelerate, it shoots out and goes under the seat, you never see it again. Petrol tank, way too small. And the styling is a bit... yobbish. A bit? But, Hammond, look at this. Oh, yeah, you're right. Half a century of Mustang history, heritage and pride, but it hasn't got a small plastic strip on the door in case you're a bit clumsy. No, it's brilliant, that, and this is faster. Well, no, it isn't. It is. No, it isn't. It is. It isn't. Well, it's interesting, actually, there was a, a, a Finnish minister recently said that the government needs those speeding fines to balance the books, they said. <laughs> they actually said, speeding is good for the country. There we go. Actually... <laughs> mate! Mate! Thank God you're here! What's the matter with him? Well, I, for the first time in my life, I'm rather glad you're here. Because he thinks he's discovered an ancient civilization, And he, he got very excited. And I couldn't say, no, Hammond, it's, it's not real. It's a film set. That is where they filmed Asterix and Obelix, and that is where they filmed Game of Thrones. Yeah, I know that. 
but he thinks it's real. He thinks aliens have come down and that everything that universities in Britain know about ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, ancient Rome is all wrong. We have had it done for you. It's brilliant. I know. It's in the style, actually, of an 18th century Italian artist called Pompeo Batoni, who made a pretty good living out of painting, um, visiting Americans on the Grand Tour, and making them look like refined, cultured English gentlemen. Yeah. Think of it as a souvenir of your trip. Well, thank you. Well, except a souvenir is what you get at the end of a trip. Yeah, exactly. Um... While Hammond struggled to get the painting in his car for the long trip back to England. Uh, Jeremy, what's all that smoke up ahead there? What smoke? That massive pall of smoke in front of us. Up front. Can't see it. My hay fever is really bad. So you can't see it because you're trying to look at it through a cow's butthole. As it turned out, the smoke was on account of James having single handedly restarted the Industrial Revolution. What? What are you doing? Not me. The theory is we are reducing our impact on the environment. But you've dug it up. It's not where anybody lives, it's just the countryside. It's not doing anything. Is that a coal lorry? Yes. Well, that's the least environmental thing on the entire earth. It's a lorry delivering coal. So? Why do you need coal? Because to, to fire up the kiln. What? The bricks have to be baked. You can't just... So, do, hold on. So you're making a car out of mud bricks? Yes. Are you going to dig a canal network to get in and out, perhaps, with your coal? That's quite a good no, idea. No, it's not. A good idea. What? Hang on, you know that, that windmills of your mind sequence in the car? Yeah. Well, you made the Alpha look really good in that. Yes. Yeah, but what if somebody buys one? You don't want that on your conscience, do you? What do you mean? It was a brilliant car. I needed to... Anyway, what? anyway, I have the results here of the laps. And, uh, well, in third place, you and the Xenos. Second place, you and the Alpha. First place, the winner was me in the Mazda. But it was a hollow victory because I ruined an ancient piece of sculpture. <laughs> yes, but here's the thing, OK? After the weight test and the speed test we did, we've learned... Nothing. Yes, yeah, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Literally nothing at all. Uh, and on that terrible disappointment, I'm afraid it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Goodbye. On our way to get the last car, we stopped at the reef site to make sure everything was OK. Tom Daly. And after a few moments in the water, we discovered it wasn't. Where the bloody hell are they? There's the boy. See. This That's is the, the right boy. Where that mar yes, that marks the spot. They're just not here. Why did we trust you to fix them in place? I did. Listen. Of all people. Well, I don't understand it because I don't normally make a mess of that. Oh, you must have made a good job of it. That's why they've gone. There is evidence or a lack of it. This is yes, you can't well. Oh, shit. Maybe it's sharp. Uh, what? What? Look. Oh, brilliant. How the hell did they do that, though? You um, know this current that's whizzing us about? Look at them. They're not going to make a reef, are they? Well, maybe it could be like a play area for the privileged. Some rusty cars. That doesn't work, does it? No. 